Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your June 2024 general reading. We are looking at the first half of June, roughly from the 1st through the 15th, and this reading is for the Earth sign of Capricorn. Welcome everyone. You are most welcome here. As always, I hope you're all doing well, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch these videos. It is uh, truly a great blessing to be able to do this, and you are part of that blessing, so thank you. Okay, Capricorn, if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Capricorn, this video is for you. If you're cross-watching for a Capricorn, this video is also relevant. It is a general reading, so it may resonate a little differently for everyone who watches. Uh, so if you know any or all of your sign placements, sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign, watch those videos as well for additional insight and perspective into your own personal situation. And if something really hits home with you, it really resonates, and you'd like to pull the curtain back on it and maybe take a deeper look, or you simply like the reading style. If you are interested in a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can see that contact info by clicking on the description of this video. Uh, I would be delighted to hear from you and I can usually get back to you within 24 hours with more information. I do offer a pretty wide variety of choices uh, for reading options in all areas of life, different types, lengths, styles, budgets, spreads, or something in there for everyone. And I'm pretty diligent <coughs> about uh, timely scheduling of personal readings. So if you're interested, please email me. I'd be delighted to hear from you. Okay, Capricorn, let's take a look and see what the first half of June 2024 looks like for you. I am using the Royal Deluxe Tarot, clarifying with the Gilded Tarot, both by Cyril Marchetti. We begin with the High Priestess, trusting your intuition. Some people call it higher self, some people call it gut instinct. It's not really our thoughts or our surface emotions, but it's deeper. You know, gut instinct might be a more recognizable phrase. It's our connection to the divine, which is how we get kind of promptings or pullings uh, one way or another. With that, we have the Five of Cups. So perhaps something hasn't worked out so well, or you have a feeling it isn't going to work out so well. Uh, because the Five of Cups is a card of grief, loss, regret. Still two cups upright and full though, so the cautionary advice is to not spend an inordinate amount of time focusing only on the disappointment, what didn't work out, what you regret. Focus on it enough to get the lessons from it, right? Okay, so I know now that I should have done this better, I should have done that better, I should have made better choices or whatever, right? Uh, and moving forward. We can only move in the direction that our attention is focused on can't move forward if you're looking in the, the rear view mirror, right? So this is about taking lessons learned and moving forward because you might miss out if you don't. Next, we have the Ace of Wands, exciting new beginnings. Seven of Wands, determined to move forward into exciting new beginnings. not giving up on a new start. There may be some challenges along the way, of course. Next, we have the Five of Coins or Five of Pentacles. This is the Five of Earth, which is a card of conflict that comes from insufficiency and lack, not having enough. Now, this might be financial and material. It can also be a card of feeling like you're not enough, feeling you know, like the red-headed stepchild, abandoned, rejected, not good enough, out in the cold, shut out. With the Eight of Cups, leaving that behind, leaving behind something which ultimately was not in your best interest, was not in your... It's not good for you, right? It may be something rather emotional, this is a card of realizing that something has run its course or it simply turned out different than what you thought it was going to be in the beginning and you've made up your mind to, to turn away and to go into a different direction. You may not know exactly where, where you're headed is going to work out. There are challenges, but it's about leaving that behind. Feeling like perhaps 
what you have isn't enough and that makes you feel not enough because the five of coins is also kind of our beggar card right having to kind of depend on other people in a way that makes you feel bad about yourself you know that beggar kind of uh, mode whether it's financial material or emotional or a combination of all of those and from the bottom of the deck representing the overall theme and focus for the first half of june capricorn is the two of swords making difficult decisions you may feel a bit stuck but this is about needing to make decisions moving forward the most practical wise decisions possible let's take a look at that two of swords overall energy and focus making difficult decisions having a good plan moving forward death the wheel of fortune four of wands it's a tough decision because it's going to represent significant change endings and a rebirth into a new cycle it's also something which may affect home friends family but it also might be better for your home and family whatever that means to you high priestess and five of cups page of cups emotional conversations but positive being emotionally open and talking about your feelings the five of wands conflict circular arguments everybody might not be on board for this the six of swords healing moving slowly but surely away from from whatever is the source of the conflict or the disappointment you're not quite to the other shore non solid ground yet but you're moving in the right direction there is an implication with this healing energy of the six of swords healing especially in the early days has you know up up times and down times it can still be painful because you're still healing it feels like not everybody's on board here um, if, if this is a sense of a physical move and relocation as well it could be that you know your partner if you have a partner or kids if you have kids or family or friends you know they're like we don't want to move or we don't want you to move or we don't you know um, but e there's a sense here too with that that high priestess and the five of cups that even though you do feel some you know some sadness and sorrow and grief about the whole thing not working out the way you wanted it to you do feel intuitively that the best thing to do is to move forward ace of wands seven of wands very similar to your sister signs taurus and virgo ace of wands seven of wands nine of pentacles see the nine of pentacles is different than that five of pentacles or coins right that's our beggar i don't have enough so i have to ask or i have to beg and i feel like just like i'm at the bottom of the barrel you know the nine of pentacles is different it's the opposite of that the nine of pentacles is somebody who's worked really hard to get to where they're at now and with that has come a sense of self-confidence and and it's a very self-empowering feeling and they're now enjoying the fruit of those labors that's what you're determined to to start this new beginning with because we're clarifying that ace of wands exciting new beginnings and that seven of wands very determined energy no matter what you face you know this is what you want you want that independence that self-sufficiency that self-reliance you want to know that you've worked hard you've overcome a lot of challenges you're reaping the rewards of that and you don't have to feel like you're in that beggar mode anymore strength facing your fears your doubts your insecurities and what we call wrestling with our shadow self which is just a, a sort of a fancy psychological way of saying you know taking a good sometimes hard look at ourselves and going this is the part that i've had to play in this situation this is where i could have done better and i didn't this is where i dropped the ball you know it takes strength courage wisdom and true humility to do that um, but it's also what you gain more of by going through that process ten of cups that happy home card three of pentacles compromise negotiation getting everybody on board collaboration and the two of pentacles you know it's about kind of compromising negotiating getting everybody on board with this decision 
um, because ultimately, even if some of them, like if you're moving and you have kids and they don't want to move, they may not see it all, right? But you intuitively know that this is the best thing possible for you moving forward. Five of coins, eight of cups, and you're leaving that sort of beggar mentality behind. You're or you're on the path to it anyway. Yep, the Knight of Swords moving forward in a very smart, very clear headed. I've got a good plan and I'm acting very assertively and decisively about it, but in a smart way. Ace of Wands again towards that new beginning. The moon. There may be fears. There may be you may not the way not be in may not be entirely clear, but I feel like you're on the right path. Yep. Yeah. Eight of Wands moving forward. Some of you are actually moving. Could be traveling, moving, relocating, getting a new job, the hopes of getting a new job, something. But I feel like some of you are physically moving or physically relocating here. And again, it may not be that everybody's on board. There might be friends family members that are like no but or partners but it, it is the best thing for you and for them too even if they're not part of the going in a different direction if they're like friends or extended family or something I mean when it's people that we love and care about if they're making a decision that separates them from us or that creates distance, we may not necessarily like that, but we want them to be happy, right? So it's about knowing that it's in, you know, again, it's the better path. Pretty clear here. So let's end with advice, guidance, feedback from spirit. The chariot. Yep. This is success through perseverance, determination, and willpower. This is setting your goals, making sure they're good goals, making sure you have a good plan, and then not stopping, not losing sight of that. If you fall down, pick yourself up and keep going because this is success through a lot of challenges, and that requires determination, perseverance, and willpower. That's how you succeed. Ace of Swords and the Devil with the Nine of Cups. This is kind of taking a good honest, sometimes challenging look at what our bad behaviors, patterns, cycles are and breaking those. It may be for some of you that it's a mentality about what you feel you need to be happy. It may be that financially, materially, something has gotten a little, you know, screwy wampus in your mind that you think, and maybe family members think, oh, if I had this, these material things or that material things or all of that, that's what I need to be happy. It may be that part of this is financial and material decisions made in the past were not the wisest. And you need to have a, a, a smarter, more practical, wise mm -hmm. ideology and, and practical plan like a budget things moving forward in the future. It may be that you know, you've been caught up in the very addictive and tempting keeping up with the Joneses or more, more, more means more happy, more happy. And it, that's not necessarily it. So kind of having the, the foresight, which is, uh, and the wisdom, which is in that strength card as well, to recognize that maybe what you thought you needed to be happy materially isn't really. That what's more important is building. The High Priestess again and the Seven of Wands again, knowing that you're intuitively making the right decision and not backing down from that. So you're on the right path, Capricorn. There are challenges along the way. It's not going to be easy. Very few things in life are, but you're on the right path. Again, taking lessons learned and applying those lessons moving forward. Okay. I'm going to leave it there, Capricorn. Those are your messages for the first half of June 2024. I hope they were useful and clarifying for you, validating, or at least gave you something to chew on, some food for thought. Again, if it resonated, if it hit home and you'd like to peel it back and take a deeper look at it, or you simply like the reading style, if you are interested in a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else, please feel free to email me directly, maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. You can see that contact info by clicking uh, the description of this video. I would be delighted to hear from you and to work with you. 
I will see you uh, in a couple of weeks for the June mid-month readings. Until then, stay safe, stay well, be happy, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.